What's the YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video. Today we got uh, ATL rapper Baby Mother killed over a bowling alley, over a bowling ball by a couple on a date. Uh, shit, this shit crazy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the road to 1K. We finna hit it, no cap. Let's get into it. Nobody wins when the family feels. That's my best friend, that's my best friend. It's breaking right now. A woman is dead after a celebration at a bowling alley took a turn. Our Tori Cooper is live. Wait, wait, wait. Am I tweaking? Hold on. Young Free to go. You killed this what the fuck? That's my best friend, that's my best friend. It's breaking right now. A woman is dead after a celebration at a bowling alley took Turn. Our Tori Cooper is live this morning. She's at police headquarters. And Tori, you're learning a little bit more about who police are looking for. Grivier, that's right. At the very end of my conversation with homicide detectives, they told me that the suspect that they're looking for this morning is a man and that they may have caught him on surveillance cameras at the bowling alley. Now, let's take you back to this bowling alley. This is the Metro Fun Center where this tragic scene all unfolded while parents and kids were around inside just trying to have a good time. Turns out a celebration was the reason this group was gathering here at this bowling alley. And now we know that a 31 year old woman who attended this party got into an argument over a bowling ball with another individual and a shooting occurred inside and she over was shot to death. Ball, I mean, what? I'm looking for my particular ball that I had. You know, when you win and you have your particular ball that you want, I went look for my ball. They had it in the other lane. I went to grab my ball. And when I grabbed my ball, they went to talking crazy. And we, it started from an argument to they went on us outside. It, like, it was that serious, like over a bowling ball. At times, some of us can take for granted having both of our parents or even one. A couple months ago, a 14-year-old teen from Atlanta, Georgia, went to social media and said the following. Ready to die, broken heart emoji, come get me. That teenager was later identified as the son to young thug and to a woman, Lakevia Jackson. Now the reason that young man went to social media and made that post is because he lost his parents within months apart. One to the system fighting for his life and one lost her life due to gun violence. Damn. Now thankfully, a young man that went by the name of Lord Gaddick, who's also an Atlanta rapper, close to Young Thug once, close to Gunner, he actually went to go pick up Young Thug kids, put them in his music video, get them dressed, and change their spirit a little. It was very wholesome to see. He put them in a song titled Dr. Mark, released six days ago I with over 100,000 views and count. This music video was actually shot only a week. That's a real stand up guy. After Young Thug's son had made that post. Now, just five days ago, a week before Christmas, and only a day after that music video was released, Lakevia Jackson, alleged killers, was let go free after two long years, and a trial found them not guilty after a good night turned bad over a bowling ball. We here to discuss how, why, and when, but before we go over this one, remember, I won't give you no angle, I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, we will jump right to it. In March of 2022, a 31-year-old mother, identified as we mentioned as Lakevia Jackson, was out at the Metro Fun Center in a shopping center located in the 1900 block of Metropolitan Parkway in Southwest Atlanta. Lakevia Jackson's mother heard her daughter last breath over the phone. The mother said they were bowling when a second group came in and started talking over their space, leading to an argument shortly after 11.30 p.m. The shooter reportedly left the bowling alley and waited in the parking lot for 20 minutes for Jackson to come out. Now, the two people that was involved were on a date. Joshua Fleetwood had a criminal history with over 16 arrests, and Imani Spears, Damn. his girlfriend, no criminal history. She was arrested a week after him. Now, only one side was coming out on exactly what happened. Now, when these two arrests came, Lakevia Jackson's sister and mother had went to the local news and gave these following details about the situation. The past few weeks, how are you getting by? Not good. Like, I break down every day. Like, I miss my sister. I miss my sister. I don't know how to do it, but I got to be strong for my sister. 
my mom, her nephew, the kids. Like, I got to be the strong person that she want me to be. When she was a strong one, I'm learning. It's something new. I don't know how to cope with it, but I guess I'm doing good. Okay, and then, you know, just looking at y'all and talking to you, like, you can feel the grief coming off of you, which is understandable. But then you also have, you know, Always in Our Thoughts, um, In Loving Memory, there's, you know, Justice. I, I called you today. Tell me about that. Yeah, getting that call from me. I had just came from seeing her, and I just begged her to help me get justice because they can't just walk around like that and my family hurting, you know, like help my mama, like help the kids, like help help me, you know. And on the way to my mom to get her to go up there and see them, to see her, we get the call about my sister, the arrest, that they made the arrest. So I know that even though she not here with us in flesh, like she's still here with us because she made it happen. Like <laughs> she made it happen. She got her justice not even in 30 minutes. <laughs> so knowing that there's a second arrest, does that bring you any kind of comfort? A lot. Tell me about a lot. That. Because we lost somebody. Like, we lost somebody that, that, that was somebody special. That wasn't, that was Lakevia Jackson. Like, she was a little bitty person, but had a big personality, like, she was the one who did everything for me, my kids, my mom, her son. Like, she was our backbone. So, they took a lot from us. So, for them to be arrested, it mean a lot because you ain't just going to walk around free like that. Like, we hurting. We don't know. We're always hurt. We don't know how to get over that. We always hurt. Alrighty, And then, um, you know, knowing that you have to go to jail. Like, four weeks later, it seems like a lot of times crimes will go years. APD has been out there, they're on a fugitive, like a mission to get these fugitives. Does it feel like, and they, they, they have some other high profile murder suspects as well. Do you feel like they're doing their jobs? Yes. Yeah. They did their job. <laughs> it ain't even been a whole month. They did their job. Mm -hmm. They're doing it. Justice. And I thank them for it. And I mean, that's your baby. Like. I can't imagine what you're going through, and I'm so sorry. I thought they but, just, I mean, I called you on the phone. They just said they got released, so. so. I didn't mean to like, catch you off guard, but to you know, tell you that she was arrested. To hear that way, I mean, I guess there's no great way to hear it, but at least it's good information coming at you. Yeah, because uh, I knew that it was more than one person involved. So uh, I just wanted justice any way they can get it. And whoever was involved, I want it dealt with. Cause mm -hmm. justice for Lakivia, and we getting this mean everything to me. So yeah. Alrighty, and when people are out there, and there's a there's a conflict, and they even said that forty percent of the murders are happening because people are in a dispute, and they pull out a gun. What would you, as a mother who lost everything? What would you say to them as far as find another way? I mean, that's true. There's like, other ways to way. solve besides gun violence. Mm -hmm. you know and you're a man. Like, you should supposed to be better than that. Like, you literally waited on us to come out of that bowling alley mm -hmm. to take somebody. That's some whole ass shit. No, I ain't gonna lie. Why you couldn't just have a whole scrap in the parking lot, have them, you know? That's crazy. Away from us, and you didn't just shoot at that one particular person. You, were you shot at all of us and our and kids. And I had two and four years old, and other people had their kids. You were shooting at all our kids. So, what type of person are you to shoot at kids and a woman? So Women. So, you were there with your kids? I was there. And they were shooting. Yeah. I was there. Children were being He knew I was were kids shooting. were there. He came in and out that bowling ass and kept asking us. Y'all ain't came out yet. Y'all ain't came out yet. He was waiting on us. But our time was up and it was time for us to go. Mm -hmm. And they had just came, so they still had a whole hour. You waited. You waited. So we came out that door. You waited for some women with kids. You get what you deserve. And then what about the second person arrested, the woman? She was down with it. She was in and out that door with him. She was the main reason why all this started. Over a bowling ball. What happened? 
it's a lot. It's a lot. It was we bowling. They came in strong arming. I'm looking for my particular ball that I had. You know when you win and you have your particular ball that you want. I went to look for my ball. They had it in the other lane. I went to grab my ball. And when I grabbed my ball, they went to talking crazy. And we, it started from an argument to they went on us outside. It like it was that serious, like over a bowling ball. I don't, he was trying to show out for a female. And you seen that we had kids. Because when you came back in, those two times you kept asking us, y'all ain't came out yet. Like, you was waiting on us. You seen that we had our kids in there. Like, putting our shoes and stuff on. Like, the kids' socks and shoes. Like, my kids are two and four. It was other kids that was like eight, eleven, nine. You know, like, you scarred those kids. Because we can't sleep. All we see is that same scene of my sister laying there, breathless. So... It hurt. Like, I was there. Do you feel like this might be something that could at least give you, maybe not closure, but just some comfort? It's some comfort that you're not walking around this this world living free. And you like, thought, I ain't, like you ain't did nothing. And you thought it was funny. They laughed at us. They laughed. She laughed. They laughed at us when they drove off in the car still shooting. They laughed while my sister was on that ground. And that wasn't funny. That hurts. Nothing is funny. Y'all just took a life. She was laughing? Yeah. She was laughing. Damn, she yeah. was laughing. Well, let's hope that justice continues. And, you know, so many people who were arrested, he had been arrested, what, 16 times before? Mm -hmm. She did not have any prior record. Mm -hmm. But so many of those who were arrested, in and out and in and out and in and out. What does that say about what needs to happen? They need to put their foot down. Like, he had all these violent charges and all that. Why, how could he even oh, still hey, walk away with 16 violent charges? Out of jail. This nigga how? Out of Maybe y'all would have set him down. All this would have been prevented yeah, for getting that monster yeah. off the street, for killing a, a woman. He ain't got no heart. Mm -hmm. He's senseless. He's trying to put on the front of a female, and you're not even caring about them kids, because what if the one of those bullets could have hit those kids? Mm -hmm. Then what? You know, you would have killed a, a child. They didn't even have a chance to grow up. But you took... Somebody that still mean a lot to us. Now, her son, her son's father, how's he doing with all this? They holding up. You know, nobody is doing good. We all miss Lakivia. Like, we miss Key. That's what we call We miss her. We scream her name every day. But all we can do is pray and go by faith and live day by day and try our best to cope with it, but it ain't easy. Already, and we hadn't had it verified. We'd seen it, though, that is the father of her child, Young Thug? <laughs> That's our child father. I'm just curious. I mean, it's yeah. just been put out there, and so people are like, Yeah, but that's her child father, but it's nothing more, nothing nothing like that, what they trying to make it out to be. It's nothing like that. They was just a reckless dude that just didn't have no heart and was just on some more stuff all that day. That's it. Got it. Oh, they were trying to make it so, like, he was tar like she was targeted? Yeah, they tried. That's yeah. what the news made it. That's what everybody else made it, the news all on the Internet, but that was not the case. It's just the fact that my sister. Like, they tried this. Never. They tried to say it was like gang related. It's not targeted. And to clear it up, she wasn't targeted. For that. It had nothing to do with whatever was going, going on. She had nothing to do with that. That was just a random dude who's trying to put on in front of his girlfriend. That's it. That man, her baby father is hurting too. Her child is hurting. His family is hurting. Our family is hurting. Everybody is hurting. That was somebody who meant a lot to everybody. So it sounds like you, like y'all visit her a lot, grade wise. That's my sister. It's only me and her was the only two children my mama had. That was my best friend. That was my diary. When I'm when I'm going through it or when she going through, we talk. We pull up on each other. Anytime you see her, you see me. I got a phone. I have everything. Like that's mine. That's my baby. That? That's my baby. That? It's hers, like, this is my baby. Mm -hmm. We were very close, best friends. How many years older are you? I'll be 33, April the 29th. She'll be 31, June the 10th. 32, I'm sorry. So y'all were like this, like, we back to twins back. almost. Yeah. We was back to back. Yeah. And well, for sorry. me to bury my sister, mm -hmm. April the 2nd, and my birthday, April 29th, I ain't worried about it. I'm not even. We literally were supposed to be going on a trip that Thursday, and we didn't get to make it.
for the spring break trip. Mm -hmm. My sister took her own trip. Well, I'm Wait. so sorry for what y'all are dealing with. And I'm glad to hear that the second suspect is off the streets. We're happy. And I know now that when y'all called and said that, it brought so much peace. I was at the cemetery in tears, like my eyes was puffy. When I got that news, it smiles. Like, I'm happy. You know, at night times are the worst, or just during the daytime when I'm by myself, my mind get to thinking, because I miss my sister. Like, I'm not used to, I'm not, this is something new to me. I miss her. Mm -hmm. To see my mom hurt, to see my kids asking about her, her son hurting, he's only 14. Mm -hmm. That's not fair for a child not to be able to have his mom. Like, it's not fair. Is there anything else I haven't asked about that you think it's important to get out there? No. No? Well, thank y'all for talking to me. I know it's hard. I it is. It, it is. Okay. But we dealing with it, and she got us. Even though she's not here in flesh, she with us. And we'll, we'll keep in touch as it goes through the court system. Okay. Right. We gonna make sure justice be served. We there every court date. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. We there. And the detectives haven't reached out to us. They haven't told us nothing. We have to hear everything through y'all. Uh, you know, we haven't heard nothing from nobody. So we thank y'all for that because nobody is telling us nothing. Nobody, nobody told us that he got caught, but the journalists and stuff like that. Like we, mm -hmm. we ain't hearing nothing from them. So. All right. We thank y'all for that. I know that was a pretty long interview, but after each question, she gave more detail. Now, that last part was key. Detectives wouldn't give them any information. And at that point, a year and a half ago, it was strange as to why. But it seems we got an answer after the two suspects had went to trial. I know it was tough because they was grieving a loved one, but their family didn't mention one key clue that was presented in court by a witness. Lakivia Jackson was first to shoot once in the air and once towards the direction of the suspects when she exited Metro Fun Center. The court document stated, although the state... What the f... <laughs> hey, this just took a fucking turn. What? Nigga, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait point a year and a half ago it was strange as to why but it seems we got an answer after the two suspects had went to trial i know it was tough because they was grieving a loved one but their family didn't mention one key clue that was presented in court by a witness lakivia jackson was first to shoot once in the air and once towards the direction of so she was on that she was on that first hold on so she I do. I mean, he did say they kept, she did say they kept coming back in, boom. When y'all gonna be out, she already knew what time it was. <laughs> mm, I don't know, though. That's cap. That's not cap, but I don't know. The suspects when she exited Metro Fun Center. The court they document stated, although the state was what? able to point out some inconsistencies in the testimony of the defendants, many were explained yeah. through witness testimony and none refute what the court observed on surveillance video of the incident. The court therefore concludes that the descendant was the first to shoot, even though there did not appear to be any provocation beyond words exchanged and without first being fired upon or any evidence defendant Fleetwood had a concealed firearm holstered on his hip. The court further find that Lakivia continued to fire shots as we mentioned, either in the air or in the direction of the defendants as they ran away and were endeavoring to leave the parking lot. The court still further concludes that the defendant Imani Spears returned fire in defense of herself and in defense of defendant Fleetwood because the decedent Lakivia Jackson continued to fire at them. So we clear, Imani Spears is the one who took out the life of Lakivia Jackson. May she rest in peace and love her condolences to her family. She did that while she was on a date to protect her and her boyfriend who had a registered firearm on his hip. But listen to these details from surveillance and a witness family because Fleetwood gave Imani the firearm. The undisputed testimony from all the witnesses, which is also cooperated up by the surveillance video, showed that Lakivia was the first person to fire a weapon, first into the air and Damn. then towards the direction of the defendants who were running away and retreating to their vehicle. She the was busting first. This, bro, what the hell is going on? Nigga, what?
Fendi Spears testified that as they ran away, she ducked and continued to hear gunshots coming in their direction before defendant Fleetwood returned fire from his own firearm, which had been concealed in the holster up until that point. The surveillance video shows that Lakivia continued to fire shots either in the air or in the direction of the defendants who had already retreated to their vehicles and were endeavoring to leave the parking lot of the Metro Fun Center. Thereafter, the surveillance footage shows a rapid exchange of gunfire between Lakivia and the defendants, which were cooperated by the crime scene photos. Defendant Fleetwood was driving away and Defendant Spears picked up the fire. Hold on. Firearm from the cup holder in the vehicle or was handed the firearm by Defendant Fleetwood. Defendant Spears returned fire at least once or possibly two or three times from the passenger side window while Lakivia was still firing off rounds before striking Lakivia and fatally wounding her. The defendants left the Metro Fun Center at a high rate of speed through the only entrance and exit from the establishment, which is why Joshua Fleetwood and Imani Spears were set free and found not guilty only two weeks before Christmas in the year 2023, almost two years after the incident took Damn. place. As we wrap this video up, we want to say once So she was busting first. That shit is crazy. This shit just took a turn. Her family was sitting there. Damn. How they ain't know she shot first? Shit. How did, bro, come on. Hold on. Again, That's rest correct. in peace to Lakivia Jackson. Rest Love in peace condolences to her, though, to her family, especially her young son, who happens to be the son Damn, of the Atlanta she was rap on star, that, though. Young Thug, who's currently fighting for his life, as we mentioned. Family, this was a... Yeah, she knew what time it was, bro. No cap. She, they, they, yeah, she knew what time it was. Shit, that shit just, that's just how it go, though. Damn, you always got to be uh mindful, nigga. They will shoot back at your ass, nigga. No Story cap. of a young mom from Atlanta, Georgia, who lost her life in self-defense over a bowling ball. Y'all let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like Damn. and subscribe. So if she wouldn't have just, she would have just... Chill went outside. Damn. Bro, shit. I don't know, bro. It's always three sides to the story, you know. They side, they side, and the truth. Yeah. So, hey. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the road to 1K. Shit. Please like the video. Comment and subscribe. No cap. That's all I ask. I'm out of here.